In 2024, the world passed that important one and a half degree Celsius mark that had been set out by the UN about eight years ago as being a mark that we really didn't want to cross. And current global policies mean that we're on track for about three degrees of warming this century. So whilst it's great that we're seeing action in the net zero space, it's clearly not enough and we clearly need to do a lot more. Around 10% of the world's emissions are due to the use of structural materials such as concrete and steel. And a typical structural engineer could be responsible for specifying and designing as much as a thousand tons worth of carbon emissions every year. So obviously the impact that we can have as engineers is really quite big. So as an institution, we're committed to helping structural engineers to understand the magnitude of those emissions, understand what they can do about them, and then most importantly, of course, drive those emissions down. What this means is that we need to see industry work together in a collaborative way to understand the carbon emissions that sit behind our building choices, understand the embodied carbon that comes from our materials and then work together to reduce those on every project. So the institution has a range of carbon guidance and tools. A lot of the guidance that we generate, we actually give away for free to those in the industry who need it because we're really strong believers in collaboration as a whole industry. We believe that we will make progress quicker if we work together when it comes to climate change. We also offer a series of different climate-based training courses, everything from the free e-learning module called Embody Carbon Basics, right up to an in-depth five-week course that we call Net Zero Structural Design. The Structural Carbon Tool is an Excel-based carbon calculator. It sits alongside our guide, How to Calculate Embodied Carbon, and effectively what it enables you to do is to very quickly assess the embodied carbon emissions of your design and most importantly, understand where all the carbon is hiding in that design so that you can then make decisions around how you're going to go about reducing carbon most effectively. By using the tool to compare different options, we can understand quite quickly which option will be lower carbon. You can view them side by side in graphs and it will help you understand what the carbon savings would be of one option over the other. At the iStruct team, we're here to help. So get in touch, look on our website, go on the community platforms, and together we can work to make a more sustainable future. Mm -hmm.